Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and I wanted to hop on to give a quick drip and animal farm update. As you know, as always, nothing on this channel is financial advice. It's just my own thoughts and opinions. And before we dive in, I wanted to say thank you to the drip and animal farm community. Those who have recently subscribed to my channel, relatively small channel, but definitely means a lot. For those who took the time to comment, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. So thank you. And again, means a lot and I definitely appreciate it. So looking at Drip's price, right now we are at 44 USDT, which is not bad. I mean, we for the most part, given that we're kind of waiting on Drip Drop Draw to come out, you know, we're, we're hanging in there. Looks like we were at 42 cents and we've kind of eased on up to 44 cents. So I take it, I'll take it. We are definitely have a little bit of price stability there. So definitely good to see. And then this is kind of where I'm sitting at with my faucet over 5300 so let's go ahead and attempt to hydrate this real quick and then when we do that that should push me over 5400 just waiting for metamask to kind of do its thing here but you know so far i am definitely kind of happy with my journey this is a solo journey as i've mentioned on previous videos i chose to go that route because you know wanted to show people yeah you, you can definitely do this without a team but also you don't have to necessarily deal with the hassle of people constantly you know, wind moon, if you do have a team, some, a team and, you know, that's just my thing. Uh, now, who's to say I might start adding people down the road? I could possibly do that. But for now, it's just a solo journey. And as you can see here, I'm up to 5,439 drip. So cool to see. And let's go ahead and transition over to kind of the animal farm topics. Kind of cool to see here because earlier today we were trending number one on Twitter. So shouts out to Forex Shark and team. Shouts out to the Drip and Animal Farm community because a lot of you guys were retweeting, liking the posts. So it's kind of cool to see that we were trending number one in the USA. And then here again, we we're trending number one on Coin Market Cap. Now, I don't necessarily know what that means. You know, do the people kind of understand what's going on when they see us trending number one on coin market cap? So maybe kind of something to think about there. Um, but definitely cool to see far as what we did there and to just be trending number one in general with any of our our products. And because of the news, let's kind of see if we can refresh the page here. So, you know, kind of up a little bit today with price. Uh, looks like we kind of had a little bit of a sell off here. But, you know, we had like a little spike up originally with us trending number one. Now that could have been, my guess is it was probably mostly our community. Now there could have been some outside investors that possibly looked into the information further and just simply bought um, the AFP token. But, you know, that it's kind of hard to say because we don't have the, the data or the analytics behind it. And just like a little bit of a sell pressure here uh 
with, you know, with some of the pigs. Looks like overall 206 buys and 169 sales on the day. So, and I wanted to, you know, um, and let's hop back over to, well, the animal farm first. So as you can see here, it looks like we're at 69 million. So we're kind of holding strong. I know we were down to like 64 million at one point, but it's nice to see us kind of going back up a little bit. Price of pigs kind of went up a little bit. I think dogs were down to like twelve dollars and thirty something cents at one point. So definitely cool to see there. And then let's hop over to the pig pen. I am now up to twelve point two one pigs. I scooped up an extra pig today. Um, my short term goal is to get to twenty pigs. So I'm just kind of slowly building that up. If I can get to 20 pigs, that'll put me in a strong position once Piggy Plinko comes out and various other products. And then real quick here, looks like we are at 38 million plants. And as I previously mentioned, like I, I originally added like $600 into the animal farm. I have into the garden. I have not bought any more plants of late. But who's to say in the future I may like throw a little bit more capital in there to kind of grow the garden a little bit. And then as for my, I'm only in the drip BUSD pool, a little over, so a little over 42. And I'm just kind of just letting that slowly build up. And then kind of scrolling down real quick. For anybody that maybe saw Piggy Plinko trend trending today or had no clue what was going on, you can hop over to the, the wiki. And then there's some information on Piggy Plinko. So again, you're in Animal Farm. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see Docs and White Paper. And then within there, this little Drip Community Wiki will pull up. And then you can kind of go to Animal Farm and find Piggy Plinko. And you can also just look up all the other products that we have. So Piggy Plinko, it's kind of cool to see the, the partnership with Chainlink and them building out Piggy Plinko. So that's huge. So I would imagine Chainlink, once this rolls out, they will tweet out the information as well on their social media platforms to kind of have that collaboration. <clears throat> so definitely some cool mechanisms here. Looks like dog mode. If you choose to get paid out in dog mode with Piggy Plinko, you'll get like a 10% increase if you get paid out in the AFD uh, token there. And then, you know, I'm not going to go through all this, but, you know, kind of real quick, you can see some of the things you can do with Piggy Plinko. You can change up your risk factor. The higher the risk, the possible higher the reward. So you can kind of choose that, so on and so forth. And then you got the multiplier of how much you could possibly win. Obviously, you want to be out here with the 4x multiplier or the 20.5x multiplier. If you land on one of these, then that's more money of a payout. So I'm not going to go too much into that, but feel free to kind of read through this within the Drip Community Wiki page. And one other thing I kind of wanted to talk about, and pretty much the the message I wanted to give with this video is under promising and over delivering. So with Piggy Plinko, I don't think we need to know as yeah, it's cool to kind of map out what's going on with the product, but also I, it would be cool to let me have like a surprise feature within Piggy Plinko. So under promise over deliver. 
It's the same thing with what Apple does. When you get your Apple phone, you get your Apple phone and you got all these different features on your phone. There's so many features on my Apple phone. I don't even use them, half of them. Like I have no clue, but they're, they're under promising and over delivering. You know, they'll talk about on a commercial, oh, you know, we got the latest iPhone and, you know, there's no home screen button and we got this amazing, even better camera now. But when you get the phone, you're like blown away because it's like, oh, oh man, this is like, this is dope. You got all these features on here. It's the same thing when you, you know, with a Tesla, you know, you got all these cool features with the auto driver and then the cool feature of dog mode where you put the car in dog mode, it'll, you know, I think it sets the air conditioning inside the car and then your dog is just chilling. And then there's a note, a computerized note on the dashboard basically saying it's in dog mode the car is safe the dog is safe the owner will be right back so it's the same thing with these forex sharks products under promise over deliver don't give us you don't need to give us all the alpha so for example he told us that possibly six games will be coming out we don't have to go that far in depth but let's say he rolls out piggy plinko but he decides at the same time to either add another feature in Piggy Plinko or drop another game. For example, Drip Games at the same time. Oh, surprise community, I've dropped Drip Games or something like that. It's the same thing too with like time frames with these stuff. You know, for example, I'm going to roll out uh, Drip Drop Draw in maybe three months. We're going to, you know, the community is obviously it's a community based project, but let's say let's roll it out in like three months, but the product is finished and done within like a month under promise over deliver. If you continue with those habits, more and more investor capital will stay within the ecosystem because crypto changes quick and everybody's always like, got ADHD looking for the new shiny object. So if you keep under promising and over delivering, more and more people will stay in the ecosystem and keep their dollars here. And, you know, as a result, you know, I could see this T this total payment volume going back up to a hundred million. Now it's, it's like that because of the bear market, but you know, there was also some sell off with some of the, you know, the drip LPs and then some of the liquidity within here because, <clears throat> excuse me, people use that money to, you know, whether they needed it at home or whether they just wanted to pull it and put it in other uh, protocols. You know, I've heard some people, you know, they sold their pigs and went, did whatever else, other pro project. But again, same thing, under promise, over deliver is the message. Don't put too much pressure on yourself by saying we're going to have all like six of these things at once, but leave an element of surprise uh, is basically the message I'm trying to say with regards to putting out this stuff because man, once the community gets going with these products, you know, the influencers talking about it, uh, Piggy Plinko, Drip Games, Drip Drop Draw, uh, Poker, I think is another thing I saw today that could potentially come out. But once you're over promising, once you're under promise and over deliver on that stuff, that is just gonna just community sentiment is going to continue to rise. And then those influences in different regions of the, in the world, they're going to be talking to there. Because remember, like, these influencers, they have different, they have different people within their region that kind of watch their stuff. You know, you got people in South America, you got people in Canada, U.S., Africa, there's people over in New Zealand. I mean, there's people everywhere that's in the Drip Network, so... And that'll be a good way to kind of build up community sentiment. But 
it'll definitely start there. Now, uh, last thought, you know, at the same time, the Animal Farm, all the cool stuff that Forks Shock has done with this is nothing to sneeze at. I mean, we were at 1.150 million in total payment volume, may have been higher, but this is nothing to sneeze at. It, it works, it pays out dividends, uh, BNB dividends from the dog's token. It pays out BUSD from the pig pen. So definitely nothing to sleep uh, to sneeze about. So definitely a lot of positives, but you know, there's room for improvement with that uh, under promising and over delivering aspect. So that's pretty much all I had today, but I just wanted to hop on, kind of give that message and I hope it resonates, you know, I hope it resonates because that is very important, you know, with the with community sentiment, in my opinion. So definitely thank you for listening today. And that's all I have for you. Signing off. All right. Bye.